Hey, gang, Scott here. So On One is having uh, their birthday party. They are turning 20 years old in June 2025, and I wanted to show off a few things in my favorite On One tool, On One Effects. Now, if you've been on the, the fence about upgrading or been thinking about getting an On One tool for your toolkit, whether that's plug-in, photo raw, now is the time to do it. They are doing a massive site-wide sale. Uh, you can show this channel a little bit love. Use the link in the show notes to, uh, to pop over to on one anything you get there doesn't cost anything extra it's already on a massive discount and uh, give me a little bit of support so i can do more videos like this i want to show off some things in effects and so uh, let's go right into it i'm going to process this photo which is actually quite complicated of a scene you know a lot of a lot of different small pieces right lots of different stone a bunch of different uh, greens and grasses mountains fog and in effects here one of the very first things i like to do is just let on one tell me what segments have you found architecture it found some things flora natural ground you can see where this is a, like if i combine these two here architecture and natural ground i kind of get all of the stonework and the steps and so forth so there's some possibilities there sky of course the the mountains in the background and uh and so on it's a good first pass just to get you thinking about what are the different segments of your photo because uh, that's how i like to approach my editing you know, break it down and then you know build up the individual pieces uh, let's start off with um basic dynamic contrast across the board getting a little more detail everywhere next thing i want to tackle is definitely the uh the the the, the sky here i'll do that in locals I'll do an adjustment here, bring my masking window over here. Now you saw before that we had like the region sky, which was pretty close, but it missed a little bit of the fog there. So instead of using sky, I'll leverage a different masking option, a luminosity mask. I'm going to click once on this little light bulb and let it uh, create that for me and view that mask. Now the exposure, I'll change that setting in a minute, but this is my mask and now I work visually. Right. I cover I cover a lot of this stuff in um, in a photo kit that I have out right now called On One Masking Mastery, and I want to get that sky as bright as possible. Right, so I'm 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 pushing these things around so I get the sky bright, and almost everything else is not bright. And then with my brush, switch it over to erase mode, and I'll just get rid of all this other stuff that I don't care about. And this was going to get me what I was after: the mist and the sky and now i can do my exposure work you know bring that down a little bit maybe push a little contrast maybe a little structure in there there's some there's some character and even even brighten or sorry not brighten darken those those whites a little bit just to pull it back into uh into visible range you know, before after getting that character back in the sky All right. now moving on to the rest of the scene mentioned it's a complicated scene we saw that the masking had some um, some challenges with architecture versus mountain versus uh, foliage what we didn't look at is color we have a couple of basic color palettes in here right we've got green and we've got like this orangey tone in the the stonework and so we can leverage that back over to effects let's uh, first do actually let's do some uh, some some overall color work and we'll use a color adjustment and one of my favorite is desert hit that once and desert does things to reds oranges yellows greens uh sorry greens blues in the sky and that's the only thing i don't want i don't want the sky to get changed there and so what can i do well, i could paint it away but instead i'll leverage that sky region get that sky region erase it apply and now my color adjustment is not being applied to the sky right view that mask after great now um the i mentioned color ranges i want to get a glow going on this foliage the greens and there's a really nice one uh, it's really strong when you first put it on deep forest it's like way too much right we dial all that back now as i'm pulling this back i'm really watching the vegetation okay there we go and the next thing i'll do is grab a gradient shape or sorry a, a masking bug edges shape and i'm going to click it like kind of on the green here so when i view that mask i'm pressing the o key we have this big shape here well now color range and the color sample is now my green right and so as i move that around i get different selections based on the color that i'm over i can move it out over here it's different 
I move it here. It's different. You see it shifting around. This way I probably hit stone. So I'll get over here on these mountains, stretch this out, turn on my mask view, and then I'll reduce my color range. And you'll start to see shrinking in, right? And I'm really affecting the greens. All right. Turn off my view of my mask. Let me actually get that closed up. And the last thing I like to do is my feather. I like to push the feather out a little bit, soften that up. Here's that same color range mask if you prefer to work in the properties there. What's that giving me? A little like, you know, kind of an ambiance glow there. Pretty great. All right, two things we're going to do uh, to remain here. One is going to be a vignette. I want to push you walking up these steps to the, you know, the, the apex of this mountain here. And then the second is get a little accent light coming in, uh, probably from camera right. You know, looking at the lighting of this scene, like the uh, pointing here, the face of, of these parts of the, of the stonework kind of facing camera right are getting a little brighter and then the sides are a little darker. We can amplify that. But first, we'll do the vignette. So we'll take a vignette tool. And the way I like to work with the vignette, let's do big softy on this one. But take the feather all the way down. And then I can reduce the size. You can really see where that vignette is. I want to push you up the, uh, the, the mountainside here. Then I can feather it back out and rein in that brightness. And the last thing I'll do, zooming out, I'll add a sunshine filter. Where is my sunshine? There it is. So sunshine adds this nice inviting glow. But I'm going to use masking for this. Once again, luminosity mask. Luminosity mask is going to target that sunshine to just the bright things. There's our mask, and then there's our, our impact. I always like to soften my luminosity masks. I shouldn't say always, but a lot with a feather. And then once again, reaching for that edges-shaped mask, I'm going to click kind of outside the canvas so that I can say this is where maybe the sun is coming into the scene, and we'll make it a pretty narrow, kind of narrow beam. Stretch this out. Now, what's that doing? The mask. Okay to look at the mask. Check this out. I mean, this is a very detailed mask, which is targeting you know, more of the brighter things. And I can, I can play and say, you know, I really only want that sunshine to really hit the extra bright things by adjusting these levels. And these are things I, I, I cover in the, the photo kit as well. So if you're, you're liking what you're seeing, go check that out. I'll leave a link in the show notes. And then we're all done. Okay, so let's go ahead, close that out, get zoomed back in, and let's take a quick look at before and after. So before those changes and after. So uh, just a handful of the things that you can do in on-one effects. It is uh, very central to my workflow, uh, and it's, uh, it's a great plugin to have if you don't have it already. If you got Photo Raw, you've got effects. If you're looking for something a little extra for your photo work and you're coming from Capture One, Lightroom, Photoshop, check out On One Effects. I think you'll like what you find. And there are some very, very good deals to be had on it during their uh, On One's uh, birthday celebration. Hope you found the video useful. Questions, drop them below. And until next time, my name's Scott Davenport. Have fun.